August is here, which means back to school in the daily grind. Our topic this week, yoga for strength building. Let's do this. I'm Danny Lebovitz, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and fitness enthusiast who loves to eat. Welcome to Danny's Delicious Dish, where we get serious about food, fitness, and living better. Food brings people together, it nourishes our bodies, and influences how we learn, grow, and heal. We're gonna take you from the classroom, to the gym, to the market, to the kitchen. As summer vacation comes to an end and we work to get back to our usual routine, it's time to schedule in some physical activity. Kaylee Squire is back to teach us some great moves to build strength and muscle tone. Thanks, Danny. So yoga in Sanskrit literally means to yoke or to unite two things. Um, and in our physical practice, oftentimes we think of those pretzely yogis that are all flexible and tied up. But really, yoga requires a union between strength and flexibility. So today we're going to focus on that strength aspect. And Danny is going to demonstrate three moves that you can incorporate into your practice to build strength. So the first pose we'll show today is called chair pose or Utkatasana. Taking the big toes together, keeping a little bit of space between the heels, that way the thighs start to touch. Danny's going to exhale and begin to bend the knees and sink the hips back, trying to still keep even weight through both the balls of the feet and the heels. Inhale, reaching the arms up. So we, now if we look at the side of Danny, what we want is a nice flat back. So we want to tuck that tailbone down nice towards the heels and then lift the chest up. So in chair pose, we're actually more of a thunderbolt uh, position than we are actually sitting in a chair. So with each inhale, she's going to reach the fingertips up, open up more here through the chest. With each exhale, she'll sink a little lower. And after a while, after a few breaths, you'll start to feel this through the thighs, through the hips. It's a really great one to hold to build strength up through the lower body. So this next pose is going to target the core, and we like to call it boat pose, or otherwise known as navasana. Um, so Danny's in this nice V shape here. To begin, let's just take the hands to the backs of the thighs, and with a flat back looking forward, she's gonna inhale first one foot, then the other. Still active through the legs, pressing the thighs towards each other, maybe even fanning out the toes. Keeps lifted up through the chest. If this is enough, stay here. If you need a little more, begin to reach the arms out in front so the fingertips start to reach towards the toes. Palms face each other here. Keep lifting up through the chest, nice. If, and if the backs of the legs feel nice and um, open, we can even begin to straighten the legs into a full boat pose. Beautiful. You might start to shake. That's okay. It just means everything's starting to wake up here. So from this high boat or maybe even the half boat, as we exhale, you're going to slowly lower down. Nice. So that way the low back starts to come, hollowing out the front of the body here <laughs> into our low boat. Inhale, crunch back up. Beautiful. High boat. And exhale, lower. I'm making Danny work right now. Inhale, back up. And then exhale drop the feet. Oh, she wants to do one more. Inhale up once more and exhale lower the feet down. Take the hands up and you can just come into a comfortable seat. So the final pose we're going to show today is our ultimate strength building pose, what we call Chaturanga Dandasana or otherwise what we might know as the bottom part of a push-up. So to start, Danny's going to come into our plank pose, stacking the wrists right underneath the shoulders, tucking the toes under and lengthening the legs out. So just remember the whole body is engaged here. Straight line from the shoulders all the way to the heels. As she inhales, she's going to shift the weight slightly forward so the shoulders go just past the wrists. And on an exhale, hugging the elbows into the sides, lowering down for a push-up. Keeping the body nice and straight, beautiful. To come out of it, just roll onto the tops of the feet, lift up through the chest, pull the chest forward, come into upward facing dog, stretch it all out, and then exhale, drop the knees, sink the hips back over the heels, come into child's pose. And so if doing a push-up is a lot for us today, we have a modified version, one that still builds strength and over time you can then start to work up towards the full chaturanga. So from the knees, shifting the weight forward, still same thing, uh, shoulders just past the crease of the wrist here, exhale, hug the elbows in, lower down. Holding this, you're going to continue to build strength, and that's great. Inhale to press back up. Nice. This time into a cobra pose, so you see the knees are on the ground. And exhale, you can come back to our child's pose. Reaching the arms out, taking a little break, breathing. Chaturanga is really great if you're ever working towards an arm balance, handstand, anything to build that strength throughout the upper arms. These are three very simple but very effective moves to help you build strength. Take it slow, with control, or hold for at least five breaths and you'll start to feel the effects over time. As always, thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Look and feel stronger by incorporating these moves into your daily practice. 
I'm Danny the Dietitian. Till next time, live deliciously.